a 65-year-old male presented with multiple colorectal metastatic lesions in a non serotic liver. The largest tumor was visible on the surfaces of segments 5 and 6, while significant lesions were also present in nearly every segment of the liver. The major lesions in segments 1, 5, 6, and 7 will be managed with an extended right hepatectomy, with preservation of segment 8, while lesions in the left lobe will be cleared with wedge resections. To preserve segment 8, the transection plane will follow the course of the right hepatic vein, then follow the border between segments 5 and 8 towards Cantley's line to resect segment 5, and then pass through the gallbladder fossa. The procedure will begin by mobilizing the liver. The short veins draining the caudate lobe will be divided. But because of the proximity of the metastatic lesion within the caudate lobe, to the origin of the spigalian vein, the vein will be resected with a portion of cava at the end of parenchymal transection. The phrenic veins will be divided to mobilize the suprahepatic vena cava, providing space for caval cross clamping. Dissection in the porta hepatis will begin with a cholecystectomy. The right hepatic artery will be dissected, and the segment 6 7 and segment 5 arteries divided, preserving the artery to segment 8. The posterior branch of the right portal vein will be divided, while the anterior branch is preserved to supply segment 8. Inflow to the caudate will also be divided. A posterior caudate duct will be divided during transection. The liver will be transected along the planned margin. Portal blood supply to segment 5 will be divided during transection. While segment 5 often receives portal blood supply through one or two major branches, in this patient, several smaller segment 5 portal branches were present. The remaining portal and hepatic veins will be divided. The right hepatic vein will be ligated and divided, and the cava will be clamped above and below the liver. The spigelian vein will be resected with a portion of cava, and the specimen will be removed. The caval venotomy is repaired, and the caval clamps removed. A series of wedge resections will then remove the remaining lesions.